Good morning, Oklahoma. I'm Curtis Hare, and welcome to SunUp. Well, with the much needed rainfall that the state recently received, how did that impact summer crops? We'll find out much more about that later in the show. But first, are there any telltale signs that will let pecan growers know if they're gonna have a crop this year? Becky Carroll gets us up to speed. We're at the Cimarron Valley Research Station in the pecan orchard, and these are Merrimack pecans. Um, and, and you can see they're showing um, a lot of flowers right now. These are the male flowers. And then um, I'll show you uh, what the female flowers look like in just a minute. But this is the time of year when growers are getting excited. They see the potential of a future crop for this season. Uh, just because we see the flowers doesn't mean that we're going to have a crop this year, but it is a good, good sign to see lots of female flowers on the tree and they're just starting to peek out in some places now and uh, so that's great news. Uh, we've had lots of, of good rainfall and the, the drought conditions have kind of moved away from the pecan belt. Right now the the insect pressure is is not too bad but the growers need to be putting out uh, pecan nut case bear traps in the orchard and these are pheromone traps. They hang them out uh, early in May and they attract the male moths. The pheromone is a female pheromone and so it attracts the male moths so they can know uh, when they need to start looking for eggs or damage and then time that spray which is normally the end of May first part of June is when they're putting that on but the case bear can do quite a bit of damage on those small pecans uh, during that time frame. The, the 2022 crop was uh, disappointing to say the least. And we started off looking like it was gonna be a pretty decent year, but um, we had less chilling hours than we wanted to going into the winter. So that kind of uh, threw some kinks into the pollination and, and the crop formation after that. And then we went into that long drought period and the pecans were very small. And then a lot of uh, trees just dropped the crop because they couldn't actually actually uh, produce something. So they, pecans are really good about taking care of the, the tree itself and dropping things. And so that crop wasn't going to develop. So they dropped a lot of those pecans. And then the people that did have pecans um, at, on October 19th, we had a very early fall freeze. And those pecans that hadn't opened up due to late maturing or to the drought conditions, they just, they need water to open up the shuck. Um, they were frozen in the shuck. And so if those shucks are tight to the to the shell, they're not usable at that point. We have the Oklahoma Pecan Growers Association, uh, their annual conference and trade show, and that's June 1st through the 3rd in Tulsa this year. It's at the, uh, the Cox Business Convention Center in downtown Tulsa. For more information about this event, just go to the SUNUP website.